that went against them in their one-all Champions League draw against Hertha Berlin and uh, Signor Alessandro Nesta simply said well they can't have it their own way all the time and Milan have responded in kind so the fires have been stoked the sides both have the chance to go second in the table and now it's Veron trying to get through the mist and a first half chance for Alan Boxic trying to break into the area well Pailovic to launch one in the general direction back spot Negro's got the nod this evening as the first effort in anger Andrasini from 20 yards out nothing to trouble Luca Marcagiani we're all the way in Italy last season and I predict more of the same those players who can just turn the game with a moment of brilliance well, that was better between a little too close from Lazio Gulli really well struck from the second Milan effort of the evening finally it's Simeone again he Veron brought down he's in an advantage played I think the referee actually didn't judge that challenger foul Simeone didn't quite wear and he slipped past the first challenge but not the second and it's Almeida's clearance Salas came up worse in the aerial challenge we saw Swirlers in for the forwards to attack Alevich has gone for goal almost squeezed through to Simeone now Vera the Argentine strikes his third goal of the season the Olympic Stadium erupts it's Juan Veron for Lazio with a strike that just had too much pace for goalkeeper Aviati yeah great finish but you just feel that Milan should have possibly cleared it a little bit just before that that chance came along they had the opportunity I think when Boxic was coming in from the left hand side I think we might just see it on the replay when it comes up but uh, I think for Milan's point I didn't see Ware coming off short for it this time. And towards George Ware. So last week. Now Veron. Looking for number two. Oh my word. What a strike from Veron. He's got his sights set on goal tonight. Well, Lazio seemed to be queuing. Gino. Looking towards George Ware. It hung nicely for Marco Gianni. Albertini. Tries to at the moment as Shevchenko breaks away. Well, he left Nesta for dead and brought the best out of Marco Gianni. First real shooting chance for Shevchenko. Yes, yeah, the first opening that goal he's had there, and he's, well, to be fair, it's a great save. That let low down to his left, the keeper. But Shevchenko showing his pace there. The ball's gone through on the angle. He's got it out of his feet. Decent strike under pressure from the defender, and a great save. Missing for Milan. Most for a moment. Giunti finally ran into Paolo Negro. You can see there he's holding the inside of his right thigh. Or somewhere in that region. And he's there for his boxers looking to create some space of his own. Didn't really connect as well as he might have done. And here's Veron. He's enjoying his evening all right. It's in front of goal. And that's it. Come back and force Abiati into a fine save, it's Alan Boxic possession for either side but Lazio you sense as Simeone dives in but doesn't manage to get the corner Lazio you sense Paul have just a bit of control over the game test is a race with Serginho which the Brazilian wins and George Weah scrambles it in off Mihailovic and Milan back on level terms the Olympic Stadium reduced to silence a way of surely can't claim that that's got to be a Mihailovic own goal I think the strikers union will be coming out now I'm giving it to Jules where he had the touch it was going towards goal it's the first time Serginio that has really got any joy down that left hand side his pace carrying him in behind uh, Pancaro I think it's Pancaro um, and a great ball across very fortunate for where the way it's gone in but I'm still Salas poised Abiati oh it's gripped it Lazio back in front, it's Diego Simeone and perhaps fitting that it was Mihailovic who took charge of delivery the sort of delivery he supplies so effectively both in Italy over the years and for Yugoslavia and Diego Simeone has claimed his first goal since his summer move from Inter Milan yeah, I think this is now outside Salas has gone into the middle oh that's brilliant, no doubt 
doubt about who scored that one. It's another bullet from the forehead of Marcelo Salas. Quality of the link-up play was excellent as well from Lazio. Salas started the move. Boxic and Conte Sao continued it. And how many times have we seen headers like that from the Chilean Salas? Absolutely wonderful goal. Started again by Salas. He's picked it up. He slid it into Boxic. Boxic has set it out wide. Good, good delivery in, but what a fantastic header to generate that power from at least the penalty spot it looked like. I'd like to see the replay. Again. This is a joy to watch from Lazio. And not that time. It was Pancaro. Rather passing the ball straight. Shevchenko. Good chance, Shevchenko. Round the keeper. It's a good finish to 3 2 in Rome. Andrei Shevchenko fires up Milan. And on the stroke of half time, they're back in the game again. What another fantastic finish that was. I mean, Shevchenko's been limited to how much quality ball he's been able to get around the box. And the defender might be a little bit disappointed, but he's been able to let it run across his body, Shevchenko. They're just out of reach of the defender, opened his body out. Thought his first touch had taken him too near to the goalkeeper. Shifts it to his... We enter time added on at the end of the first half. And easy for Abiati. Here on comes to Costa Curta. He's over hit that one hopelessly. That could be a goal kick for Luca Marcagiani and Lazio. Hit the cross. I don't understand Ukrainian or Italian, but Shevchenko's words to Costa Curta weren't kind as the players. There's been strokes of fortune on either side. Second top scorer for Lazio this season and teeing up the efforts. Not too far away. Abiati certainly. Could have done that. The ball is looked dangerous. And here's Veron looking towards Salas, inches away from a second goal on the night. Really had to. And Maldini nearly runs into trouble with Salas. To deny Serginho. And Lazio struggling to get the ball away. It was Almeida who was caught. And such a cool customer normally, Sven Goran Eriksson. There are, of course, any number of players. It is Shevchenko. And it's. Uh, Bit of an anti-climax. It's another strong challenge from Simeone. An offside flag is raised. Salas, you can see, disagrees with that decision for one. You can see the fans. And it was with Giunti to clear. It's Almeida back in and behind. Oh. He goes again, looking to pick out Salas. Great save from Abiati. What a fantastic delivery there from Veron, and what a great header again. Well, Veron took his time, it was a measured chip, it is inch perfect for Salas to get away from Maldini. It's a super save because Salas, quite simply with his head, never... What a brilliant ball that was. He threw towards George Weyer, and that could be a penalty, and it is a penalty for AC Milan. Weyer round Marco Gianni. Yeah. Andrei Shevchenko. Scores with ease. 3-3. Cool as you like, eh, Shevchenko? Run up with pace and then just calmly slotted it in that bottom right hand goalkeeper's corner. And well might the Milan supporters celebrate along with Silvio Berlusconi. But still the move goes on. And finally there's a breakdown in communication between Shevchenko and no real surprise to see Boxic replaced and it's he replaces the midfield battler Federico Giunti out in the Milan lineup. Maybe that's why, giving it away after the trick stuff. And now Veron is caught by Costa Curta. Has to be a free kick. It's another yellow card as well. And if Shevchenko picks up his first, that dropped. And it beats the wall, but also the crossbar. And for the second time in the game, we build up the free kick ball, only to be let down. Well, you know, it was a decent effort, but the power that they're trying to generate, and at the same time trying to get the ball up and down, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great skill to, to be able to do and to do it well. And so far his corners have been as Gouli tangling with Mancini. It's another great corner. He's so close to an own goal. Mancini claims it crossed the line. Away and makes the run toward it. Still the Ukrainian. Goes down. That won't be a penalty this time. And he's good. Another scuff the pass, but Shevchenko might make the most of it. 4-3 Milan. Shevchenko hat-trick. Well, another great goal. Similar to 
to his other goal but on, the, on his left side uh, he's just pulled away from the defender let it run across his body hoping the defender can't make it to the ball one touch and a great finish and from 3-1 down Milan lead 4-3 and are again proving to be the scourge of Rome Shevchenko with the Simone Inzaghi he's going to come on he slipped as he was about to strike Veron Salas 4-4 He's upstage no more. Well, I can't believe the goals in the game we're getting here. It's unbelievable. Marcelo Salas grabs his second. Now his aim is to equal Shevchenko and get the hat-trick. And there is still plenty more to come in a magnificent night of Serie A yeah. football. 4-4 in Rome. Yeah, I mean, all the defenders there trying to stop the one across the six-yard box, but Salas just held his ground to exactly what he's trying to do. And here's Shevchenko. This time across the face, away from Leonardo and goalkeeper. They have outstanding strikers. Inter at the top with Vieri and Ronaldo. Roma were sitting in second at start of play. And you've got Francesco Totti. Lazio, of course, here. Plenty of shirts, plenty of Milan shirts back. Mancini crowded out. And there are some half-hearted appeals. Fetter maybe with his head, and surely Almeida live with his elbow. It's Vero with the shot. And Abiati makes the save. And still he has possession, and he waits. And the chance is smothered by Abiati. Inzaghi was waiting to pounce. That was an absolutely unbelievable bit of skill by Veron. He had so many bodies around. He just rolled his foot on top of the ball and slid a fantastic pass through to Mancini there. He's made the keeper made a save. It's been an outstanding all-round midfield display. Is it going to be nine? Could well be. It's Engotti who plays it back. There's a chance to get near them. This is Pancaro's cross and a turn from Salas. Leonardo has looked towards Maldini. And Maldini is being held, is he? He looks pleadingly towards referee Bazzoli. First time he's chanced his arm. I see, I think it's the only time we've really made a concerted run into the opposition's half. And he's... It's ending in fiery fashion and Concert has done brilliantly away from Gattuso he's well pumped up on the side I wasn't looking at the ref I was just looking at Zaccaroni and he's going crazy or was going crazy he might do again because Lazio got a free kick it's Veron and Gattuso is making his presence felt it's Mihailovic and it's Mihailovic it's not clear yet very nearly a third of goal and look at the instant Lazio pressure Two trying to clear, it's back with a ferocious shot. Abiati, happy to watch it. This, this could this be as good as a penalty. It's Mihailovic, it's Salas! And it's Abiati's save, just. Yeah, he's got Salas peeling round the back there. Great delivery once again. He's got a great header, it's a bit of a tight angle, but the keeper's made a fantastic save. That's goal bound all the way. And Mihailovic, Salas 1-2. And another Lazio corner. And Giuseppe Pancaro is lining something up. Which Abiati watches wide with some disdain. And that could be just about that. Yeah, I think Pancaro coming in there. He didn't look comfortable as he shapes up to hit that. And uh, I think the result shows. It behind. It's the last action of a magnificent game.